Hi, I'm Tom Bancroft, and I'm an animator and character designer. And you may have seen some of my past work, like The Lion King and Aladdin, Pocahontas, Milan, Beauty and the Beast. And now I'm an art director on Superbook. Today we're going to talk about how to draw Michael, the Archangel. He is probably one of the coolest characters in the Bible. He's like a superhero. He's a warrior, but he's full of passion to protect God and everything around him. So he's gonna have wings, he's gonna have to have some armor on him. He's just gotta look strong and powerful. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start with a circle, like we do in a lot of cases with most characters. And I'm using a red pencil because I can kind of sketch out where he's gonna be. And then I'm gonna draw a line through here. And this is just gonna be so that I can find his pose. This is where his waist is gonna be. He's gonna have a triangle-shaped chest. We're gonna add a little chin shape to that, kind of a tube shape off of that, and that is gonna be his neck. We're gonna put little circles there for his shoulders. And he's got a big chest and big wide shoulders. We're gonna work off here with little tubes. This will be his biceps. And just doing these lines and stuff is real important, just so that I can start to get sort of a flow through the character. And then I'm gonna add the tubes of his legs here. A little circle in the middle for where his knee's gonna be. Little, little rectangles for the feet for now. Hopefully he already is starting to look like kind of a tough guy. And then I'm gonna start working out where his wings are gonna go. And those are gonna be sort of like half circles up here and then a long curve down here. And then a little curve, a medium curve, and a longer one. This wing is kind of going away from us, so it's going to be a slightly different shape. So far, hopefully he's already starting to look a little bit like Michael. Then I go back into our circle here, where his head's going to be. Right about here is where I want to put the eyes, so I put a line there. And then I put another crosshair here, start breaking it up. That's where the nose is going to be. These little ovals here is where I'm going to put the eyes, and his mouth will go here, and then his forehead is about here. You know, a lot of drawing is just trying to figure out where you're gonna go with things. So now I'm gonna grab my graphite pencil so I can really start working out the details a little bit more. And I'll still kind of break in with shapes. And he's got long hair, a little flat on the top. And this is where his eyebrows are gonna go, just above his eyes. He's not mad, but he's confident. Sharp cheekbones. He's got a very straight nose, basically just a line. A little nostril here. Now start figuring out where the eyes go. Kind of a small curve at the top, and a bigger curve on the bottom. We'll have him looking at us. So I'm gonna just put in the pupils here. His mouth, he's got a strong chin, so that goes down here, flat on the bottom. Ears usually hit right about the bottom of the nose to the top of the eyes. He's got very distinct hairs. His hair is kind of parted in the middle with these little pieces hanging off the sides. You know, we wanted that very chiseled kind of look. He needs to look like he's powerful. Now his costume is very detailed itself. So he's got sort of a chest plate here and that's what I'm starting to sketch in here now. So it's got a lot of just different decoration, but it's all based on a very practical armor that could actually protect him. There's a, a curved shoulder pad here. And you see, I just made little curves here and then I'm connecting them. And then there's another piece of armor just underneath that. And I don't want to forget, he's got a cape too. It really hangs tight to him because he's got wings. So it kind of goes close to his neck. You'll see it again kind of draped down here from behind him. So let's draw his waist. And then he's got a sash and that kind of flows down here. Now let's start roughing in his arms. He's got simplified anatomy. We try and draw muscles and as clear as we can. And then he's got these pads on his arms so he can block swords. Drawing in his fingers here. And he's got this little metal things here. Another one over here. There's another metal armband here. Starting to get a little more detail into it. More armor on the legs. It's kind of decorative. Got little trim pieces to it. You know, notice I don't draw a straight line. You know, everything's a little bit of a slightly curved line for even things that should be kind of on the straight side. I don't ever do a real straight line. 
with the human body, nothing on us is completely straight, even if we're doing a very stylized character like we are. I'm drawing this leg in because that hand is gonna go behind this leg. So I kind of feel like I need to draw that first. I do have some angles here, some points as I'm drawing. And a lot of that is just more for style. Now let's do the wings. It's the ones that we've designed are based on bird's wings. There's some anatomy and stuff, but we're gonna do kind of a stylized version with these little feathers. They generally have one sharp pointed and then a few round ones and then some smaller ones here, and likewise over here too. Now this wing is kind of going away from us, so we're gonna see it from a little bit different angle. These will just be grouped a little bit tighter. We add a little line here to make it look even tougher. We're finishing this chest plate here. You may add a little shading and stuff, and extra details here and there. This is what he looks like. If you do this at home, you know, I hope you enjoy it. Just keep drawing from the heart.